uh, hi everybody today I'm going to try to, to package my website in a in docker image then push it push that image to docker hub then I will retrieve my my image on EC2 instance to to deploy my website so stay with me to implement this So at the first, we, I will go to my repository, GitHub repository. Right. Right. So as you can see here, I will go to my directory. Open new terminal. Right. Here, I will try to delete this one. Then delete this one. And now I will create a Docker file. From from we'll use nginx server. I so will use nginx image version one nine one. Then we'll change the directory to work directory work to user share nginx email. Then we copy everything in this current directory to this directory. Now, if we save it, try to save it here. Not right here. Here. The Docker file. Nice. So now I will open the PowerShell CD to directory and the Docker right CD. So let me change. The name of this for the website. The website. Right. Then we will come back. We we'll come back here. Website. Right. And now we'll use the PowerShell for that. Nice. Now, CD to website. Right. Now I will run the command docker build slash t and give it the tag. It's to call it this image website. Then our docker file is exist in this current directory. That's why I put it. The dot here so enter and we should wait a little bit so our image is created if we check here the images this one is here already created now let me run 
first let me check we have the no there's no container running yet so this can run a container they will call it website I will detach it on which port I want it to listen on this port right and give it here the name of my image so I have a name and try to run it right so if we go here now and we click here and in localhost right and yes it worked that's nice so so here i'm trying to yes to see the docker that are running so i try to delete it so if the do, if the docker container is running and you want to delete it you should add this option dash f means force it force to delete it and then take only the the, the three first members or characters then delete it right so if we click now docker ps it's not running if we try to update this one so as you can see there will be a timeout so now what we'll see we will create a, do, a docker uh, a image tag so after that we will push it to our docker hub so for that see you the docker this is the source image and will be this is destination image this is uh, this is my registry docker hub and you can have another different uh, registry name and here i will give it a website it is the repository lightest lightest or i just keep it keep it light nice so if we could say docker images it's already created here so now what is the next step the next step is to log into your docker hub registry so for that we do type login and give it the username and this one is ability docker now we enter So it's logged successfully. Now we'll try push. Docker. So go away. Nice. So because I have already pushed it in the registry now I go in only to so I can update it. So if we go here now <laughs> 